Inquisitor, quick draw, gunboat versus um, Soul Sixa uh, and Nim, I believe.
excuse me. All right, uh, we I have the list in there now. Let's see if I can get the overlay. Here we go. And we're already underway. Now, so once again, my name is Johnny here for Gold Squadron Podcast, filling in for Dion, who is playing in the tournament at the moment. This is his kind of one opportunity to actually play in a system open rather than working. Um, we are here at Adepticon, which is a miniatures convention in the Chicago area. We're actually at a convention center in Schaumburg, Illinois, about uh, maybe 15, 10, 15 miles outside of Chicago. Special thank you to Cascade Games, who is hosting this event and allowing us to be the exclusive stream for the Chicago System Open. Uh, here we have two players, both based out of the Twin Cities. Tim Dugan uh, of Radio TCX, who uh, wanted to give a shout out to all of his listeners. He is flying today a Quick Draw, Inquisitor, and a new squadron pilot. Quick Draw lo really decked out expertise, fire control systems, harpoon missiles, advanced optics, lightweight frame, and the title. Inquisitor. Uh, also loaded out with ordnance, this in the form of proton rockets. And then the new squadron pilot also with harpoon missile. So heavy hitting list. And we already see he's uh, kind of getting in position. Inquisitor kind of going in a flanking position. And um, kind of quick draw and the new squadron coming up behind. Uh, Phil, uh, sorry, forgot to change the second name. On the right side of the screen, we have Mike Merkel. Also based out of the Twin Cities, flying uh, Nim Sol Sixa, so double Skurg, and lots and lots of bombs, and uh, both have harpoon missiles, both have twin laser turret. So really, you know, ordnance heavy list. We have a Boba Fett there on Sol Sixa. Hoping to strip some upgrades. Uh, Nim with trajectory simulator and proton bombs. Hoping to launch those. Uh, I will double check on the colors here. Well, I will we'll be able to tell by who moves first, uh, which color is which. Sorry, I was a little delayed getting the lists in. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, give everyone awareness about the 2018 Campaign Against Cancer. It is a yearly X-Wing event. This year it's happening on April 7th. Uh, it is an uh, event to raise money for cancer research. Please visit xwing.org, that's x-wing.org, to find the location nearest you. I've never had the pleasure of participating in the Campaign Against Cancer, but many of our Gold Squadron members have done it. It's a wonderful event, a ton of fun for a good cause. So please, again, go to xwing.org to find if there is a location near you. Uh, it's, a, it's a tremendous event to be a part of. So here we have uh, final decisions being made for dials. It turns out Tim and Mike are both from the Twin Cities area. So uh, Minnesota on Minnesota battle here. So even though the ships are pretty far apart right now, it looks like both players are trying to really get into the proper positioning. I think that's is particularly important for these ordnance lists. Uh, because getting off your missiles and bombs is a key part to just utilizing the points you brought to the table. So positioning, especially early on, can be crucial in getting those shots. 
or bombs as it may be. We have the uh, gunboat moving first, coming around that asteroid. Inquisitor, one turn, keeping it tight. And looks like we'll get a barrel roll here from Inquisitor. And push the limit for a focus. Next up is Soul Sixa, must be the red painted one, three bank. So it looks like these uh, these lists are kind of setting up, you know, kind of for a roundabout joust possibly, kind of lining up across from each other. We'll see if they keep on this course. Quick draw, three bank. MN Merck says, I predict someone from Minnesota will win this match. Good chance. Nim, two bank. So yeah, we kind of have two, almost like two firing lines or two, uh, you know, two armies marching toward each other across, across the field. Checking for range, just out. Yeah, Tim is from the Radio TCX podcast. He's wearing a very fancy-looking TCX polo. Probably uh, won't be able to see the logo on it unless he turns that way. But he is representing. I think we're thinking over actions for Nim, and we uh, Mike goes for a barrel roll. Okay, that's it, no shots this round. Getting into position. And back to dials. Okay, looks like Mike has his dials down. Tim thinking it over. Mike double checking, sticking with his maneuvers. Yeah, hard to tell what Tim's going to do here. If he's just going to turn in with that gunboat, try to get shots, or, you know, kind of continue to skirt around the edge. Maybe hope to kite Mike a little bit and get into a better position. I know Tim doesn't want to eat those harpoon missiles from both skirts. Yeah, you see Tim leaning in, looking at the spacing there, trying to figure out where can he end up for optimal positioning, especially with the uh, slam capability of that gunboat. It gives you lots of options. I 
All right, we got the gondo dial down. Inquisitor is also down. Might be just, uh, you know, taking a look at those the stars on the field and try to get a visualization of where you're going to end up. Use that to judge your spacing sometimes. It looks like Tim's hand is being picked up by both cameras right now. Kind of a dismembered knuckle at the top. You're really thinking over this move by quick draw. This initial positioning is just so important when you have harpoon missiles in the mix. Uh, I apologize if anyone is getting some stuttering or some um, lag in the stream, especially in YouTube. It seems to be, I, I've seen more people complaining about it in YouTube. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. Our connection is our connection. Uh, we're doing the best we can. I have not heard as many people comment on it on Twitch. Uh, if that's an option for you, I know a lot of people may be at work right now, not able to stream Twitch, uh, but Twitch seems to be running a little bit smoother right now. The people in the Twitch chat can confirm YouTube having a few issues at the moment. All right, Tim has picked up his gunboat dial and uh, double checking quick draw, double checking Inquisitor. Gives a thumbs up, ready to go. Moving that gunboat, two turns. So he was looking at the uh, the asteroid there, seeing if a two turn is going to fit in. And it looks like I think he just fits in. Yep, scraping paint with that asteroid, but uh, clear of it, I believe. And grabs a focus token. Quick draw, sorry, Inquisitor, uh, one bank. I'm sure considering a barrel roll here. Checking range here on the Inquisitor. Grab the target lock. And can't tell what flavor of token that is there. We'll find out. No, they don't. The Inquisitor does not have an evade, so that must be focus. Oh no, sorry, title. Title, yeah, that is an evade, and then barrel roll with push the limit. Thank you. Uh, Soul Sixa moving up. A little bit of a nudge on Nim, should be okay. Uh, looks like those are Mike's target locks out now. Quick draw to turn. 
All right, yeah, so it looks like, you know, the, the firing lines are set. The joust is sort of on at the moment. Tim is just thinking over actions here. And is going to barrel roll with quick draw. Determines that that's a better positioning. Maybe creating some distance or setting up a better trajectory. And Nim dials in with a five straight. Oh, sorry, trajectory simulator, of course. They don't have five straights. So lays down that proton bomb and then does a one straight. Target locking the gunboat. And then measuring the proton bomb. And uh, yes, the new does take one critical damage. And a shield. Looks like that gunboat's taking a ton of damage. Uh, deciding on a spend the foot does so. Damage through from Inquisitor to Nim. This is Inquisitor. Uh, hit hit crit. Looks like we have another harpoon coming in. Yikes. One evade, so taking oh, there's the harpoon condition going off from the crit. And that is a dead gunboat. Wow, that was didn't get to fire. 
Uh, that's how quickly these harpoon missiles can do damage. Holy moly. Wiped them off the board. Yeah, chat was wondering if this was a Boba Fett opportunity. No need uh, when you eliminate a ship outright. So now um, when we're back to dials since the uh, new squadron pilot does not get a shot. So we have Mike going up ahead quickly here. Very scary list. Both of those Skurgs have extra munitions, so their harpoons are still available. Uh, Nim, is, Nim is down shields, you're right. Let me, uh, let's see if I can move. Yeah, let me just uh, confirm the damage numbers on Nim. Nim is down to one shield. You see Tim is now actually on Mike's side of the board looking at distances. So both players kind of crowded in a little bit. Uh, Mike is set. Tim is on his side of the board, sort of just to the right of the camera, uh, trying to figure out what he's going to do. This is Tim leaning in, checking out the star map to see where he's going to. Tim in a little bit of trouble here, fighting a bit uphill. Uh, we'll see. What do you do if you're Mike here? Do you turn away and just lay bombs? You know, hoping that they'll chase. And uh, let's see. Inquisitor have, has auto thrusters, of course, so. TLT is a little bit, little bit less effective against him. TLT can put some damage out on quick draw, though. If, if Mike decides to turn away and just sort of kite Tim, that might work out. We'll see what he ends up doing. All right, looks like Tim is set. He's uh, still standing over. Now he's walking. Oh no, he's gonna stay, stay on Mike's side of the board just to do his maneuvers. So two straight with Inquisitor. Maybe hoping to get off the proton rockets here. We'll see. Target lock on Nim. Gets an evade from the title. Push limit for focus. Classic Inquisitor. Next up, Soul Sixa is going to turn away. Nope, just kidding, too straight. Keeping forward, checking for target lock range, target locking quick draw. Quick draws up next. Now that the dials are set, these players are moving a little bit quicker. Quick draw 
three bank in. The joust is still on. I uh, forgot to put up the straw poll for this up now, even though things have started moving already. Should have gotten this up earlier, but straw poll is up. Quick drop arrow rolls, trying to get out of Six's arc. Don't know that he did. All right, about an even split on the straw poll at the moment. Um, Mike slightly favored. Okay, looks like we're marking. Quick draw. Four straight. With Nem. And dropping a bomb. Sorry, Sixa. All right, Mike is favored 60 to 40 in the straw poll. Makes sense, he's currently ahead. And barrel roll. Oh man, so that bomb gets everyone Get an update on the crits when I can. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, players put the, uh, put the cards right there, but not realizing that we cannot see that with the glare. So I'll get that updated. All right, shots fired. Nim on quick draw. Three eyeballs, uh, re-rolling with target lock. Crit, crit. One evade, lightweight frame, two evades. Uh, quick draw on Sixa. Range one, expertise, three hits, no evades. So that's three off of Sixa. Next up, Inquisitor on Sixa. Range one. 
hit crit. One evade. Last shield off of Sixa. And that'll do it. I'll check out these. No, no, six is shooting back. TLT on Inquisitor, maybe? Or primary on Quick Draw? Primary on Quick Draw? Four hits, natural. Ouch. One evade, lightweight frame. Sticks to one evade. Three damage on Quick Draw. Quick draw shooting back. Expertise leads to four hits, one evade. I believe that means six of survives. Okay, I'll get the damage updated. All right, uh, quick draw. Has lost all shields, one hull, and has structural damage. Inquisitor has lost one hull and has Shaken Pilot. Sixa has lost all shields. And has direct hit. All right, so we're seeing kind of a theme here. Mike gets his dial sound pretty quickly. Tim really thinking it over. Uh, Tim does have a lot of considerations to make here with those crits. Of course, Quizzer cannot be assigned straights. And structural damage is uh, reducing agility. All right, Inquisitor, one turn. Barrel roll, get out, get some distance, get away from that asteroid. Target 
target locking uh, Sexa. Which grabs him on evade. Six of dropping a bomb. And then three bank. Bringing all those target locks along with. And grabbing the focus. Quick draw. Four straight. Looks like that bomb is still in range, uh, I would say. So maybe looking for a barrel roll here. Side forward or forwards or backwards. You're gonna get forward, nudging it back just a little bit for more of a sideways. Really trying to judge the distance there, and settles on that. bank and checking for target lock on Inquisitor uh, I think it was out checking the proton bomb doesn't get anyone Pretty, uh, you know, safe bet that it could have gotten quick draw. Measuring range for Nim, and looks like he's looks like he's out. So we have quick draw to Sixa. So Tim kind of avoiding some shots here. Two hits out of the rear arc, and no evades for Sixa. So is that uh, is that it? Yeah, it looks like. Gathering up tokens, Soul Sixa has been removed. So now we have Nim against these two ties. We've been cleaning up tokens. set for six uh. all right Tim obviously jumping ahead in points there uh, 28 minutes left plenty of time Mike obviously needs to make another kill so Tim doing a nice job of avoiding shots from Nim and then taking Soul Sixa out. Before further damage could be done. So nicely played. Yeah, so we're looking here probably a few turns of uh, minimal engagement, I'm guessing. Uh, straw poll is still up. It is uh, four. 
in Mike's favor, although this may have swung the tide of things. I think Nim has a proton. Must have at least one proton left. Uh, I have not updated the missiles on the overlay. Let me uh, double check that. Yeah, so you guys can see what happened there. Um, quick draw clears the crit. Uh, quick draw does still have harpoon missiles. Nim still has two proton bombs. Rounds moving or. The uh, turns are moving a little bit faster now that there's no engagement. Both players kind of coming around. Inquisitor, one turn. Maybe just trying to stay in the corner there. All right, quick draws up. Three. Sloop. And Nim. Three straight. All right, so another round of no shots. Other tournaments being announced in the background. It's a nice convention, a lot of people here. We're in sort of one of these uh, big convention halls. Uh, lots of tables, lots of space, and multiple different events, a lot of vendors around, uh, dealing in miniatures of all kinds. over the table once again, checking out positioning. So you can play it, play in. 
that's him thinking over what he's going to do with the Inquisitor. Inquisitor flipping his dial around. Getting in in between those asteroids. Thinking over actions. Thinking over where the uh, best positioning is going to be. Grabs a template for a boost. It looks like one forward or a one bank boost. And then push the limit for a focus. Quick draw. See a short template there. Looks like a one forward. Sheds the stress. Thinking over, I'm sure a barrel roll is in the cards here. Get away from that uh, obstacle. Yeah, you just can't risk uh, rolling a crit. Yeah, that's right. That's right, and getting better position here. So I'm joined at the table now by Nathan, Gold Squadron member. Yeah, Dion is playing right now. Yeah, Dion is still playing. I don't know what table he's at, but uh, he, he does get very focused, doesn't he? Luckily, he's flown his squad many times before, so knows it very well. All right, so we have Nim coming in. Uh, Nim, at this point, still has um, harpoon missiles, I believe. Yep, still an up harpoon missile there. Grabbing a focus. Hmm. And then checking for range. I wonder why he waited on this. Yeah. Instead of just harpooning quick draw off there. Yeah. All right. Thinking over this focus. Spends it for three hits. Quick draw. Rolling two. Lightweight frame. Uh, gets one of aid. So that's. One more into quick draw, looks like. Shooting back. And hit crit. Range three gets two dice, ends up in one evade. That last shield. And then Inquisitor to Nim, three eyeballs. Changing those immediately to three hits. And I think I saw three damage cards get dealt out there to Nim. So Nim in a bit of trouble here now. On a you know on a one agility ship. Not much you can do. Does he still have all the proton bombs? He has two proton bombs still, yeah, because he's, he has spent a couple, but he has extra munitions, so he's just, you know, proton bombs for days, basically. Yeah, so quiz, quiz, the uh, quick draw just can't afford to go slow here in this next turn, because he might eat a proton bomb. Yeah, looks like Tim's a little bit more in the driver's seat now. He started this game losing the, the uh, his gunboat very quickly, 
but then with, with some uh, kind of smart positioning was able to recover and now has Mike a little bit on the ropes. Yeah, so what does Nim do? Does he just turn in, just get into the teeth of these TIE fighters or turn away, hope to get uh, some TLT shots? Um, I think he runs left here. Yeah. If he goes right, he risks bumping. Yeah, that's he, he, true. Inquisitor can block him, and then Quick Draw can light him up. So uh, I, I don't think he takes it right here. He's got to go left. He'll probably throw a proton and, and pull a left. He's only got two health, though. If he bumps one and takes any shots, he, he's going to be in trouble. Yeah. So if he just uh, if he just throws a bomb and prays that uh, Quick Draw eats it, and then he can only take one shot, you know, from Inquisitor. If Inquisitor goes for the block here, uh, he may not have arc on noon. If he's lucky, you know, because you can barrel roll to the right. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, so three hard turn to barrel roll to the right up up the board yeah. might be good. Can't Who forget knows? that Quick Draw's in trouble too. Um, and then the one pull on quick draw. The thing about using genius here is uh, he's only got two health, so it, I mean that's a real YOLO way to go, right? <laughs> to, <laughs> to risk it, risk it all, because the Inquisitor and Quick Draw could both uh, take that proton yeah. and die. But if your direct hit comes up on Captain Nim, right, that's it. Yeah, because if he gets bumped going right, he's not going to be able to genius for the FAQ. That's right. So he's, he's got to either go straight and genius drop and uh, YOLO it, or trajectory sim and swing a hard left. Oh, that's right. Nim does not more friendly bombs. That's a good point. Oh, so, okay. So he, he, could, he could conceivably just go four straight and drop, drop the bomb. bomb and hope he kills both of them Ugh. and doesn't get blocked. Yeah, tough turn right now. <laughs> this this kind of the game kind of swings on this. Uh, both players have not neither player I should say has set their dials yet. Uh, Mike has been kind of snap setting, you know, real quickly so far. Even he's hemming and hawing. You see his his uh, fist on his chin there thinking it over. Second guessing. Tim looks like he's got a decision, but no, nope, no, nope, still thinking it over. Both players back and forth, really maybe trying to read one another, see uh, you know what they think their opponent's going to do. We're under 15 minutes now, plenty of time, but time may become a factor at some point. Yeah, so Mike can go for a block, but only if he goes for the block, right? If only Tim, if he, uh, I mean, right? Um, the Imperial player. Yes, uh, right, exactly. Yeah, the sides, the sides have me screwed up, but yeah, Tim could go for a block here. Um, ah, I'm not sure. Yeah, both players really thinking it over. Tim leaning over like he has been all game, <coughs> looking at the distances. Mike kind of standing, I'm looking over there. He's got one hand on his hip, one hand with his dial.
I will get right on that. Whenever Dion gets back over here, we'll see if he can change the stream title. Uh, oh. Yeah, we're just... Uh, we just a, work not here. A, yeah. <laughs> not, not technically savvy here. I don't want to mess anything up. <laughs> yeah. We'll get Dion on that. I don't know if you saw Dion before the tournament started. He was running around like crazy getting everything set up. He's done a really good job with everything. All right. As he always does. Yeah. As always, yeah. yeah. Professional quality. So, Mim is down. Uh, Inquisitor has been down for a while with uh, with his dial. Quick draw? I don't know. run over there and make sure that he, he still has harpoons. Because that is a good question. I, I, I don't understand why he wouldn't have harpooned yeah, last Yeah, I mean, you could see if the card here. It, it looks like which one would be... It's that one, right? And the card is still mm -hmm. face up, so I would interpret that as well, still... Well, they, they both have harpoons on them, so it's hard to tell. No, because six, six, six has piled is everything up. Okay. Yeah, Yeah. alright, I see. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. He should have... If he had harpooned quick draw last turn, he'd be in a much better spot right now. Tim really taking his time here, figuring out quick draws, maneuver. Like I said, the game could hinge on this turn, but it's been uh, even with a four straight. Yeah, you know, I, it it depends on where that bomb goes, right? Absolutely. So we have Mike kind of, he's standing off to the side chatting with someone. And Tim is just there, kind of a lone man at the table, leaning over, trying to judge distances. He leans back up. Leans down. Looks like he has a dial set and checking Inquisitor, checking Quick Draw, scratching his chin. I think that might have been an apology. Is what I'm guessing. It's a it's a tough turn. It's a very tough turn. Inquisitor. Uh, bank of some kind. Is that a one bank or a two bank? Looked like a one bank. One bank, uh, the, yeah. The two bank is white. One bank there, and then barrel roll. See, so, yeah, I'm hoping to catch him on the side here. Well, if he did that talon roll right, he definitely is blocked now. That's interesting. He focused instead of uh, target locking. And quick draw goes uh, to, to his left, our right. Considering a barrel roll here as well. So is this just, uh, just avoiding bombs, you think? Yeah. Because a trajectory simulator here uh, will... Sorry? I'm good, thank you. That's I've already okay. got a beer. Thank you. So I, I'm sure Tim here is considering a barrel roll out to try and avoid uh, trajectory simulator proton. It'll put him in front of the rock, but this may be the last turn. Where yeah, I think even. Tell. Yeah, but I think. There's enough space there to avoid the rock. Uh, he's going right. Okay. Okay. So he just wants to, he just wants to get shots out and just take out Nim, just like that. 
Well, it looks clear of trajectory here. Oh, are you right? And genius. Quick draw may be safe. It's hard to tell. Uh, yeah, it's two. Range one is two and a half bases, and so I would think quick draw will is, miss the proton yeah. and may be able to kill Nim with his rear arc. He does have a target lock and focus. Close game here. Okay, dropping the proton bomb. And then uh, taking target lock for the action. Yeah, I think uh, I think Tim's got it here as long as he doesn't uh, roll blanks into blanks. Inquisitor <laughs> looks like is eating that bomb. And quick draw safe. So that's the last hole for Inquisitor. So that is dead Inquisitor. Bypass the two shields with two proton bombs this game. And then... Uh, Definitely dodge the arc there. Uh, oh, he did not. He did not. Here's no, four coming four, out. Yeah, oh. last team four. Wow. Two evades. Here's the lightweight frame. Three evades. Wasn't enough, though. Wow. But still. Well, that was a brilliant setup by Tim. Yeah. Uh, if the dice had gone differently, it would have been his game. Close game. Yeah, very, very close, close game. Kind of back and forth. But, yeah. Yep. You so, couldn't have asked uh, more from uh, Tim on that turn. He did it. He did every all the setup required. Sure. He just needed dice to come his way a little bit better. Yeah, sure. Close game. Uh, really, you know, back and forth. Uh, two very, very well flown, I would say. And that'll do it. Okay, so we'll take a few minutes break. Five minutes left in this round, and then, you know, maybe uh, another 15 minutes before the next round gets started. We'll be back with you in round three. Thanks for watching.